I'm here with my sister Ellie. Hi, how are you guys? So this is the first decoration live that I'm doing. I'm really excited. Thank you so much guys, by the way, for 10,000 subscribers. We're really, really excited. If you're new in this channel, my name is Maureen Gilhakamari, founder of Amari Baking Center. And in this channel, we share anything about cake decoration tutorials, baking tips, sometimes baking for business advice. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you join us live, please make sure to hit them like button like bubbles is it like button <laughs> please hit that and you can leave a comment so before i get right into it i just want to tell you guys that we have a printed book for cakes cookies and breads it's now available in nairobi but you can order in another county and it'll be available so this is for people in kenya though and it has like 58 recipes tons of them lots of resources in this book i'm really excited about it currently it's 1500 shillings you can just get it at top serve limited branches and they sell or they deliver anywhere in the whole country okay so today guys what i wanted to do is just do a very simple decoration on how to use whipped cream and we're actually doing a chiffon cake which is a type of sponge cake and i have my whipped cream um prepared and i'll basically describe how to do like a very simple strawberry shortcake and also we'll see if we can another do do another cake with blueberry filling okay so just whipped cream decoration on cake with a few berry fillings uh if you like so let's get right into it so let me put my book away so what we have here i'm going to show you guys what we're going to be using so that you can um get the hang of it so right here i have a chiffon cake we actually have a bakery called chiffon cakes by amari and so we make chiffon cakes hence the little hole in there we use chiffon pans so we will be using that. I do have um, store-bought strawberries right here. The reason I have them is because I have some strawberries, but there are not a lot of them. So I have some real strawberries cut in half over there. They were in the fridge, so they look a little wet. And then I do have whipped cream, which is basically non-dairy whipped cream. So you just kind of chill and whip this non-dairy cream topping. And you can use whichever brand that you're happy with. And that's what we're going to be using, okay? So for this, again, very simple. What I need for my tools is I'm going to be using a turntable and a cake board. You want a turntable that makes it easy, but even a, a plain board is okay. And then I have a 8-inch cake board that's going to help me out. And then, of course, it's important to have, like, a palette knife. I'm using this palette knife or offset spatula to kind of help me with cake decoration. Now, I always like putting this disclaimer, if you're doing this for a client or for anything like that, please do use gloves. Um, this is for a tutorial, so I'm not going to be using gloves on this one, okay? So what I do is, I'm going to place my cake on here, and because I want to actually um, layer it, I want to actually tort. Tort is when you cut your cake like in half or in pieces, and I want to layer it. So because I want three layers, guys... I like to put toothpicks that kind of help me, um, what do we say, remember exactly how my cake was, you know, sitting together. So you'll see this. I'm trying to like eyeball this. You can always measure this. And the reason I'm putting my knife is to make sure it's straight over here. So this kind of helps if you have many boards so that when you, you can even sort of make a mark like that so you can sort of remember where it'll be going. And then I just cut my layers like this and see on i come here again and i do the same thing because again i want nice layers on this i want three layers of cake on there so it's good to have like another cake board with you let me see if i can get a cake board so realize that i'm gonna actually place i'm gonna place this here so i know that's the middle one and this here so when i bring them back together it'll be so easy and that's why i like to do this so remember, the toothpick kind of helps you have everything go back together nicely. Now, I have a piping bag, guys. I kind of used it, so I'm placing it there. And what I'm doing is adding frosting into my piping bag because it makes it so easy for me to actually apply frosting with a piping bag. Now, there's different ways of doing this. Every baker is different. Please use the method that you prefer. For ease of use, I just kind of like doing this because, you know, I'm able to fold this back and then I press this and my frosting comes out. Please know there is no nozzle in this because this is just for applying, okay? So, here we go. I am going to do this. 
Now for any of you guys who've ever heard of strawberry shortcake, it's basically vanilla sponge cake. So it can be any type of sponge cake. We have a video in this channel describing different types of sponge cakes. And then after that, you want to kind of put strawberries in between. So for this, you can actually use either filling and or you can just kind of put some strawberries. So I'm just going to try and mix it up. Because for me, I don't have a lot of strawberries. This is why I'm doing this. And you can actually kind of mix it up into your frosting if you prefer. With the filling, it just kind of helps. So that every time somebody takes a bite, no matter what bite they take from, they'll get some filling. And then I'm going to sort of space out my strawberries like this. And just kind of have them, you know, over here. So I'm just going to do a few because I do have a few layers and I do want people to taste them, strawberries. Then remember, I need to take my middle layer of cake and I need to line it up with where my toothpick is, right? So you understand why I needed my toothpicks so I can line them up really nice. You do sometimes have to play around with this, but basically that's it. Again, I come back here and again, this, this kind of helps me make it easy for me let me say to apply my frosting right so something like this and then i come back with my filling right this time i feel like i can be a little generous and i am gonna spread it around some more so you can see now be careful when you're spreading filling on top of whipped cream it can get very tricky because um it moves like it starts moving on the frosting so you just kind of want to be careful of that so i got a layer of strawberry filling on there and again a few of my strawberries remember if you want to do like a if you want a ton of strawberries on this like buy a whole two punnets or one and just kind of get that going so for me i didn't have too many to be honest so that's why we have this all right guys so i got my strawberries and i'm gonna place my final layer on top here like so so if i look with my knife i can kind of see if i've lined it up really nicely because if i haven't what i'll do is just kind of move this a little bit just so that it fits nicely the point is just to get everything fitting nicely so it's not too yeah i think this is okay now this is a very sort of to be honest almost like rustic but we're not looking for perfection when it comes to strawberry shortcake so this is why I'm not too worried about this frosting peeping out. But if you are worried about it, you can come and kind of scoop this out. But I don't think it's necessary, especially when I'm doing a strawberry shortcake. Because, you know, everybody knows it's a strawberry shortcake. It's sort of like a little messy kind of thing. But you can, you know, come back and do this if you like a little bit of perfection. So finally, I'm going to come over here. And I'll put my fine layer on here. Final layer on here. And then you can spread it around if you want. And again, strawberry shortcake is a type of cake where I feel like it's a torch, like, you know, with the layers. I feel you can get as creative as you want. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. There's no one way of doing it. And I feel it's because, you know, it's just layering layers of chocolate, of vanilla cake and strawberry. So you just get kind of creative yourself. So here, I'm going to use both my filling and a little bit of my strawberries. And then what I'm going to do is now use a piping bag that has a tip, like you can use a 1M or 2D. And it's just going to, you know, pipe a little border on top. That's it. That's it. I'm not doing much with this. I'm not doing too much. So again, my little trick with the cup. Let's push this. So I will have air bubbles, guys, so I tend to do this here, just to make sure it's coming out. And then come back here, and I'm pipe my little borders. Now what I'm going to do is place these strawberries. As I place them, I'm going to see, like, what I want to do with this. So you can place these strawberries, and then, like, if I feel that I need more, my strawberries are very soggy, to be honest, because... They were from the fridge a little bit, so I'm going to stop there. And you can add, you know, like this. If I decide to come in, pipe just a few of these extra on the side 
to make it real, look really nice. There we go, guys. There we go. We got a nice little strawberry shortcake going. Perfect. What do you think, Ellie? Pretty good. Yay. Okay. So, guys, this is a nice strawberry, easy, easy strawberry chiffon shortcake kind of decoration. Um, you can use non-dairy for this. And, by the way, guys, just to look at the inside, if you want to see how the inside looks like before we complete, I just kind of want to take a slice of this so you guys can see. Let me know what you think. If you watch the repost, please do leave a comment. We will really, really appreciate it. So I'm going to try and do a big slice so you guys can really see it. I would suggest if you're doing this for like an order, if it's a really tall, taller than this, please do some dowels because, you know, sponge cake does tend to be very softish. Do you see these layers of cream and strawberry in your vanilla uh, sponge cake? It's amazing. And you can even do it with a butter cake, by the way, guys. So if you do like this, do hit the like button if you watch this later. And do leave us a comment on what you think. It'll be so exciting. That's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you guys. Please do comment if you want me to do another type of live. And make sure you like and subscribe. All right, guys? Bye.